where Acadiana is. Ali Bear. We're back. I'm at Rouse's in Youngsville with April Singe. She's a registered dietitian, Eat Right with Rouse's. And of course, June is Dairy Month. We're wrapping up our tour of the dairy department. Uh, what do we want to leave people with this morning? Yes, thank you so much for coming and taking this tour of Dairy Month with us because we're very excited about it. But one I thing too. I know I have three tips to leave you with, and it's kind of things that we've talked about throughout all the segments is that one thing is you want to make sure you're reading your labels okay oh. so turning those labels around looking at what are the ingredients in it if you're looking for a uh, lower sugar amounts look for the no the added sugar how much added sugar is in it and you want to keep that lower lower saturated fat amounts as well but look for something that we want more of, maybe some protein, mm -hmm. maybe some vitamins, right? Yeah. And then also don't forget about all the great probiotics that we can get from the fermented dairy products. Too. Which, I, you know, that's one thing I learned this morning. I was not aware of that. But yes, things like cottage cheese and things like that. Yeah. that and yogurt. And you yogurt, know? yeah. And then another thing, too, is look at our portion sizes. Mm -hmm. So with a lot of things, the things that tend to be maybe richer and, and heavier, maybe like the butter and those sorts of things, Look at our portion sizes, how much are we consuming of it, and make sure that that matches up with look, what we're looking at in the label as well. And yeah. then another thing too is make sure you're eating a variety of fruits and vegetables along with your dairy products. Mix, you know, having a balanced diet is important, balanced intake is important. So having some great of vegetables and fruits um, along with all of your dairy items makes a win-win. And I think so much about that is planning your shopping trip and you always say one of the best lines ever shop your pantry first. Yes. I yes. do that all the time now. Yeah. Uh, look just being around her so educational that's why you should watch this show uh, <laughs> because I, I, I found that I, before I go shopping, I look at the panel and I say, oh my God, I could take this off the list because I had it. Yes. And yes. the other great to April Sins takeaway that I kind of use all the time is getting the cold brew coffee mm -hmm. with almond milk, putting that together, and you can just take that on the road with you and drink it. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I love that. That just, yeah. I think it's a, a different kind of experience with coffee. It is, and especially during the summer when you might be looking for something that's cool instead yeah. of the in, in our in our South Louisiana heat. And so, yeah, yeah, I love that. Shop the pantry first, and that way, that's actually a great money-saving tip as mm -hmm. well. That way you're not buying, uh, you know, more than one of something that you actually didn't need in the first place. Maybe you uh, had one yeah. already. I do yeah. that all the time. So, mm -hmm. April, where do we find you online? So, you can go to Rouse's.com, and you can also find every uh, Tuesday on Facebook Live on the Rouse's Markets Facebook page. You can find me on there giving some tips and tricks, just like the things we're talking about today. She's the best. I tell you what, have a happy Dairy Moth. Back to you in the studio. Dairy Moth.